All right, so the thing is this. I want to show how to batch convert video files with terminal and FFmpeg. And uh, so I have Final Cut. Final Cut cannot read the files in this folder here. I have 4 MPEG, MPEG4 maybe, who knows what, uh, video files, and I want to convert them to to Apple readable video. That would be ProRes movie, QuickTime movie. And I want to show quick how to do this, right? So I'm using terminal, go, utilities, and there is a thing called terminal here. I have that here, okay. Gonna make this wider. Okay, and then here uh, in this video, I have in this folder, I have the files, right? So let's change the directory cd to this folder and hit enter to list directory, and then we see what's in it. So we have those four files here inside this folder, right? Those are the exactly same files. And we want to go through the whole folder, pick every MPEG file, and do something with it. So we go for F is the file name in this folder, and we're looking for everything that's named star is like a placeholder, everything that has the extension MPEG, semicolon. And then what do we want to do? We do run ffmpeg so ffmpeg has this uh, information thing so pulls the information from this video and then we need a file name so what file name do you want ffmpeg to to run on and we say dollar f $f. This is the file name, the first file name in our list here. And we want to do a video codec ProRes. It's a great pro, a great uh, codec. And then we need a new file name. So oh, the new file name. Okay, so this will be dollar, and then the file name. Now the file name is we need curly braces here, is f percent. That was the actual file name, but not the f, not the mpeg. We want to remove that, and replace it with move. Like that, and that would be our new file name. Semicolon, and then we are done. So this thing's here for f. So the circles in the circle, and does this as long as there is files in there, right? So it goes to the first one, the second, the third, the fourth. If there is nobody else, then it's good. So if you have a folder with, let's say, 40 movies or whatever, it will go one by one and convert this. So I'm going to hit enter here, and then ProRes is going here to uh, convert this whole thing. If we look at this file here at the beginning, where did I start? Yeah. So this minus i uh, pulls out the information out of the stream and displays it here, how it maps it and does not work with it. Here the original video is 720 by 480, 29 frames per second. And the new video will have the same thing. And here's the audio, is AAC, MPEG-4A, stereo, even though I didn't have much audio with it. And so while we talk here, you see this is already done. So we have in here now one, two, three, four new movies. Converted videos already. So those four are converted in here. And then you can play them in here now. They are now larger size because the ProRes is a large size and they are QuickTime movies and those you can uh, work with in Final Cut.